16,000 foreigners have joined in the fight on the ground in Ukraine. That from President Volodymyr Zelensky today. Over the weekend, President Zelensky called non-Ukrainians to come fight to defend Europe and the world, as he put it. And on Monday, the country temporarily lifted visa requirements for foreigners, making it easier for them to come in and get after it. Among those headed towards the battle are Ukrainians who were out of the country when the invasion started. CBC's Perry Russom spoke to some brave men and women as they prepare to defend their homeland. He's live for us again tonight in Medica, Poland, near a border crossing. Perry. Chef, we can see the determination on their faces and the way they are walking as they head to the border. We are standing on the footpaths to get to Ukraine. Their hands are full with different supplies, food and clothes. Some of these people have never held a gun before. At the border, the tired walk to safety is met with the march to war. A parade of men have been crossing from Poland into Ukraine. Putin. One man curses Putin's name and says he has to be killed. I think the whole world must see this, what Russia is doing in, in Ukraine. It's terrible. These two men were in France when the invasion started. They quickly have returned home. They're here to fight. Do you have any experience with weapons? No. 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 No experience with weapons, but he says he has spirit. Zelina Stolar flew in from Dubai. The war started on his birthday. I'm here to defend my family, he says, defend his land, defend his everything. This man says the Ukrainian people have to fight. There are no other options. A phrase we hear repeatedly is Slava Ukraini, glory to Ukraine. It's not just men returning. Tamara Kovalenko was on a dream vacation in Cyprus when the nightmare started. She says when Ukrainian women are happy, they're lovely. When they're angry, watch out. And she says right now, they are angry. When you just trying to fight against us, we will protect our land and protect our families. Donna Kostolovich and Helena Melnik are both Ukrainian. They say they're carrying drones with cameras back across the border. Their friends abroad bought them in hopes they can be used by the military. Most of the people who are running away from the country are women with the kids. And the, young, the younger ones, as, as myself, I'm not having kids, I have nothing to lose, so I will definitely go till the end. And remember, because of martial law for men between the ages of 18 and 60, if they go across that border, they cannot come back. We are talking about construction workers, housekeepers and movers going to fight Putin's army. Chef. How are they getting in there, Perry? So there's a little ferrying system that's working over on that side. You have men and brothers that are dropping off their wives and their kids at the border. The cars are then essentially empty. So they are picking up strangers, putting them in their cars and driving to different towns, including Kiev, to bring in as many people as they can. There's a great sense of nationality happening here at the border. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.